I loved my apartment. We lived on the first floor, so it was really easy to move in. I got along with all of my roommates, which made living in that apartment much more enjoyable. I had the big room with two of my best friends. We all got really close. I was on the top bunk, which was not particularly preferred, but I did offer right when we moved in, I said, I'll take the top bunk because you know, someone's gotta. So I just thought I'd take the L on that one. We had a big bathroom, a giant closet, but our other roommates, the ones in the other room, Brittany, Caitlin, and Christina, they had a, a little bit smaller of a room than us, probably a closet about half the size as ours and a bathroom about half the size. The closet was huge, but it worked out really great because the three other girls all flew, so they didn't have a lot of stuff. And we all drove, or we drove, so we brought like a ton of stuff. And Grace bought a ton of and Grace stuff. And Grace bought a lot, so we needed the big <laughs> closet. Chatham, Patterson, and Commons are like the good ones. Commons is the best because it has free laundry but that wasn't even really an issue. We had like a, a laundromat like in the complex, you know, like it wasn't that big of a deal. I like that Patterson and Chatham are right next to each other because we had a lot of friends from Patterson and you can walk between them. Commons is kind of down the road a bit. And then Vista is like a totally different neighborhood, but Vista is not as bad as everybody says it is. So even if you get like placed in Vista, it's totally fine. Make sure I'm not in it. You are obviously You're gonna be. <laughs> We had some maintenance issues, like with our fridge and like their toilet, not ours. But it was, that was annoying because we're supposed to have maintenance come and fix things, but they would just come and be like, yeah, it's broken. And we're like, okay. We <laughs> yeah, so I don't like that we pay for maintenance. Like part of our rent includes maintenance, but like they didn't do anything. So that's a little, that's a little annoying. Oh, we loved our neighbors, the people. We, you can call, there's like a house phone, you can call your neighboring apartments. And we kind of just did that as a joke one night. And we ended up becoming friends with our neighbors because of that, so. I thought that was so funny. Yeah, they were like, come over, and we were like, okay. And then they became our best friends. Chatham does not have a Mickey Mouse shaped pool. Every single blog <laughs> and vlog you will ever watch, you will ever watch about Chatham and all the housing complexes will say, Chatham has a Mickey Mouse shaped pool, which is kind of cool. It is not Mickey Mouse shaped. I don't know what people are talking about. It's like a wavy, it looks like a piece of goo, like wavy goo with four corners. There's no Mickey Mouse, like just to warm. It's a great pool, great, but it is not Mickey Mouse shaped. I got along with all my roommates, so that was really helpful. But I have heard horror stories about people not getting along with their roommates. We were only allowed to link with one person and I linked with my best friend from high school and from college, so I knew I was safe there. But we went in blind with all the other girls and it literally couldn't have worked out better. Fingers crossed that happens for everybody, but I know it doesn't. <laughs>So Christina was the first roommate that I met and I met her through the Facebook page. So me and Christina linked up. So then I got here and we are six people in two bedrooms in Chatham, which is I believe the cheapest option. $106 a week. Yep. Literally your preferences, like you can, you can pick, like everybody goes and watches the videos about the housing complexes and stuff, which is fun to do, but I'm like, it's all sort of the same. It's gonna be fine. You really don't have much control over it. You can put your preferences. You can pick who I you wanna live with. I think this is my with. sixth pres uh, preference. I don't even know what we ended up doing. I wouldn't get too worked up about it. That's my suggestion. Mm -hmm. I, I was the last one to get here. So um, I just sort of walked in and I was like, hello world. <laughs> hello, here I am with my Bob. <laughs> And Gotta love Bob. Bob is the best. Bob the builder. He could fix it. Yeah, yes he can. <laughs> Anyways, I'm very lucky that I get along well with my roommates. There are definitely moments as it comes with living in such close quarters with people. Um, in such a small space. Yeah, and everybody's stressed and tired from work and has different schedules and so you just have to communicate and compromise. It's the same as any living situation. 
And I mean, I've definitely heard horror stories from other people, but I've also heard really great stories too. It's, it depends, <laughs> I guess. Like I haven't, I feel like I haven't seen Christina in forever. Sometimes I see Brittany when I'm going to sleep and she's getting up for work and that's always fun. <laughs> because if I get off work at like midnight and by the time I get back, it's like 1.30, 2-ish with the bus. And Talk then, about that bus system, though. <laughs> is this one of the questions, or is this just no. a segue? Like, <laughs> That's a segue. Oh, uh, the college program buses are kind of poop stick. You're not wrong. Some of them aren't bad. I think Some the Epcot of, one is pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. Our bus is not the best. It's just frustrating when you're waiting out there in the morning before work and you're like, okay, I'm here, I'm ready for this bus. And then it just disappears off the map and like, because it breaks down or something. Or when you're leaving work and you're tired and exhausted and you just wanna be home and then the bus stops at Vista and just stays there or says, okay, everyone, we need you to get off here. We're gonna go fuel up, we need gas and then finish the route. That's frustrating. But other than that, I, I think it's fine for the most part. It's just frustrating when yeah. it breaks down, things like that. They obviously, he lived in the same apartment as me, Chatham Square. <laughs> what do you mean, no? no. Uh, a six bedroom apartment, or six bedroom. <laughs> How great. <laughs> we live. <laughs> Two bedroom, six person apartment. Um, the pros is it made it okay, because it was so small, it made us kinda close to everyone, like you can't really hide from anyone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> something's touching me. Um <laughs> you can't hide. You can't, you can't hide. hide. <laughs> Kylie, <laughs> why are you hiding? You're so close. <laughs> I didn't know she was under there. She was hiding. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so um, so <laughs> um, we got really close to Grace, who was her other roommate, and it was fun because like we'd all be like going to bed, but we all be talking. It was like a sleepover every night. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> anyway, we just had a sleepover every night and it was a riot and it was fun because it was so small and so close together. Like if someone was sleeping and we were all awake and like being loud, like it disturbed that person sleeping. And we always had that like little frustration always because we were awake and they was, I don't know. At the same time, you could hear your neighbors talking. Like all the walls oh my were just gosh. Every so... single time someone comes down the stairs or yeah. up the stairs, my wall would vibrate. Yeah. Like I could feel people going up and down to floor yeah. two. So you could just hear everything. Like you're, we were on the bottom floor, which was really cool, but we always heard our top neighbors like walking around, stomping, vacuuming, pros. We had a big room <laughs> in a big closet. Can't imagine having that small closet that Brittany had. Bro, the bus is right at our place. Mm -hmm. If you were living at Patterson, I would not be able to. I'd be late to the bus every day. Apparently we had the best gym out of all the complexes. No, this is gym is way better. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, well then I guess we don't have the best gym, but between Thanks Blanket. Chatham, <laughs> thanks Blanket. <laughs> between Chatham and Patterson, Chatham had a better gym than Patterson. That So I live in Chatham Square. Chatham Manor? Ch what? Chatham Square? Madden? Yeah, I guess it's Chatham Square, <laughs> but the address is Madden. I think it's Chatham Square. <laughs> um, 29103, the best apartment ever. Room 103 Muses for Life. I live in bedroom one. Um, I don't have a bunk bed because I got here early enough. Thanks, Disney, for my early check-in time. Honestly, living at Chatham is great because we're close to the laundry room and we're not paying like $50 extra just to have laundry in our apartment. 
because we barely do laundry here. That's true. We've gone like two weeks without doing laundry, probably. Some people probably more. You can see it is all white. Everything is white. The doors are white. The cabinets are white. The molding is white. I'm, I'm white. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> um. Anything else in here white? The lights. Um, everything is white. Our bathroom was very problematic and maintenance came like two months later to fix it when we failed our inspection for it. And it really doesn't even matter at this point, but it is nice to take showers and not be like in a zero gravity pool. So the nice things, we lived right by like a field. So it was a nice view. We had a good location and I don't know. It's cute, I guess. Despite the white, it's cute. I like it. I got so lucky that I met the most wonderful roommates ever. I've never had roommates before, so I was really nervous, but we got along just well. Um, that's not a lie. Like, we all got along really well. What was the other question? I really love them so much. <laughs> I really don't know how to answer this question. <laughs> you know, it was alright. Like, I feel really lucky because I got the nice bed by myself, I got the big closet, I got the working fridge, the working toilet, the working shower, but I don't like how the shower doesn't drain, I don't like the pro like how easily the windows break, like our little blind thing broke, the window broke, like I just feel like we're paying way too much for the quality that it is, especially since these have been here for 10 plus years before us. But honestly, like, I expected it and it was actually bigger than I expected and nicer than my expectations were. So, yeah, I just wish don't it was a little bit better. <laughs> and don't expect much and you'll be good.